good morning what is the adjusted basis of an asset well that's the lesser of the fair market value of the assets and the original cost plus any improvement minus any casualty and death losses that you claim so the lesser of the two is the adjusted basis so when now let's go find out how to calculate both type of costs so when you use an asset for personal you know for personal purposes for a while and then you decided to uh, use it in your business then you need to calculate the fair market value of that asset because you might have it for years for instance and use it for years before you decided to use it in your business so you need to calculate the fair market value of that asset how do you calculate a fair market value of an asset placed in service so the date you decided to stop using it for personal and use it in your business that's the that, that that's the day you place in service so you have to keep that the date you made that conversion in your record and that's your starting point so you will find out if you are willing to sell that asset to somebody else that is not related to you how much that person will be willing to pay for it so you don't need to inflate the amount but that's the market value of the asset. one way you could do that as well is you could find out how long that asset usually if you purchase a brand new and place in service that same year in your business you could you know you could find out uh, from the uh, publication 946 at the end it will be appendix a or you can even look i believe page 32 will have a uh, class in fact before page 32 you'll be able to find a uh, proper class and recovery period but then you will see in what property class your assets belong to we talk about recovery period and property class in other videos you'll find those videos in uh, video playlist 2020 form 45 so you will pretty much what you are trying to figure out is if you were to depreciate a brand new asset such asset brand new place in service using your business how many years will you depreciate it so if you have and so if you have used it let's say that the asset will be depreciated for five years the recovery period is five years so it will that will be six years that you fully depreciate it so if you use it for three years then you can find out how much the depreciation will be based on how much you pay for it and deduct those three years out of the cost and the remaining two years will be the value will be the could be the basis you know will be the market value of the asset as well that's one way to view it if you don't know how much somebody is willing to pay for the assets you have on hand after you use it for some years you could just ask yourself if you have depreciated for the number of years it will have been depreciated and you took a regular depreciation on it how much how much of the remaining cost the yeah will you have left you could use that as the fair market value of the asset that's one way of doing it but keep in mind that depending on the asset some assets can decrease in value very quickly also if you have an asset that you use for years and pretty much an asset that could have been depreciated for five years in your business and you use it for six years 
before you decided to place it in, in your business well if you are using the depreciation method that i talked about earlier to see if you have been if you have used it in the business from day one you know how much depreciation amount you have taken by now we'll figure you'll you'll figure out that you'll have been you that asset will have been fully depreciated so that means you don't in that instance for example you could decide that you are just giving it to your business because the value is zero the market value is zero because it will have been fully depreciated by the time you place it in service in in your business after six years but the assets that you use for personal could have been in such a good shape that if you decided to sell it to somebody you will be able to get some money out of it so in that case figure out how much you will you'll be able to sell it might be an option as well so it's good to weigh all your options so that's how you calculate the market value of an asset you use for personal for a while before you place it in service to use in your business so now you need to find the original cost of the item for all the assets how much you pay for it originally you will take that cost plus any improvement you made to the assets and if you claim casual casualty and theft losses at some point on your taxes related to that asset you need to take that amount out of uh, the cost of the asset plus improvement the remaining it is the cost you will compare it to the market value whichever is the least amount is your adjust basis for that asset you place in service in your business to use for business thank you so much for your time we thank you very much you all that watch our videos and we thank you for all your comments for more on how to depreciate a business asset we have blog articles in the category how to depreciate a business asset where you can read all about how to complete form 4562 and we do have videos in a video playlist name 2020 form 4562 depreciation and amortization where we have all the videos discussing topic related to depreciation by the time you are done watching those videos you are sure you will be claiming the right depreciation deduction on any asset you place in service in 2020. Thank you so much for your time. I'm Afiavi Odrune Libreman, creators of Libreman Consulting LLC YouTube channel, Libreman Consulting LLC podcast, ninasoup.com, our blog. We do have a free download session on our blog, ninasoup.com, where you can access Form 4562, we, we don't have the form there, but we have the links to IRS form. So the links will take you straight to the form on IRS websites. We have links to form, uh, to the publication 946. It's very important you pull that publication if you are going to depreciate an asset you place in service during the year because the table, the rates table is in that publication. Also, we have links to instructions for Form 4562 if you are willing to read about some how to complete the form. We have links to those under free download session. We do have our online stores for digital products at liberdownload.com we have resale products at liberoutlets.com and we have natural products at ninasoap.com. We do have custom apparel at liberlabel.com. Thank you so much for your time.